Welcome to the Itchy Techie channel. In the previous video, I showed you how to reset the PC using the local reinstallation. Today I am going to show you how to reset Windows 11 first developer release using the cloud download option. The interface of the settings window is a bit different than the Windows 11 first built. But you can easily use all the options using the search feature even if you don't know the exact location of it. You need to have a good internet connection to use this feature. The download size will be more than 4 GB. First, I am going to check for any updates as usual. Go to Start Menu, Settings, and click on the Windows Update, Check for Updates button. You can see there are a few updates available. I am going to install them. While it is updating, I am going to find the Reset PC feature. As the Settings windows revamped, I need to go through from the beginning. So, I am going to search for the reset keyword. Ooh, it takes ages to find. Let's click here and there to find this reset PC feature or recovery setting. How funny, I was able to browse for reset this PC setting faster than the Windows search. Now I am going to reset the PC. I am going to keep my files as usual. You can use the remove everything option if you are really sure that you don't need any file you created on the PC. And think twice or thrice before continuing. It may be a pain to recover lost files if you lost any important files. This time I am using the cloud download option. I don't want to change the settings. I am going to continue the reset using the cloud option. It shows a warning regarding the recent update I did. The last update will not be able to undo after reset. That means if you reset the PC now you cannot go back to the previous state of the windows before the update since all the system files are going to be deleted while the reset process. It will keep the latest update I made and continue the reset and reinstall windows with that update. Great, let's do this. The final stage before the reset shows the effects of the resetting would do in the list of apps that will be removed. And few notes for you. Time may vary to download as per your internet connection. It took about 20 minutes to download with my internet connection. It will automatically restart after downloading and continues the installation. And the PC may restart few times while installation progress. You must keep the power supply uninterrupted while the whole process. If your PC got turned off while installation the system may corrupt, and you will need to install the Windows OS from the beginning. It took about 45 minutes to complete the installation. Now the installation is completed. Let's log in to Windows. This step will do the final touch-ups for your user accounts. This may take few minutes to complete. Now everything is completed. You can see most of the previously installed apps are missing from the start menu. You can view the list of the applications removed using the removed apps HTML file on the desktop. I am going to increase the display resolution for better visuals. And that's all for the cloud reinstall process. Now I'll show you how to do the reset with local reinstallation. Before that, I am going to create few files on the desktop. We can check it keeps the files without deleting them.
I am going to the Start Menu, Settings, and Recovery option. And I am selecting Local Reinstall this time. It took about 25 minutes this time to complete the reinstallation. And you can see the files I have created earlier are there without any issue. But all the settings are, and passwords of the logins are deleted as you can see. And that's all for this video. We shall meet in the next video on how to connect your mobile phone with Windows 11 PC. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.